Well done, Donald. Good evening, Dick. Well, well, if it isn't ever-loving Daddy, the old ham fancier. I beg your pardon? Nothing at all, old fellow. Snooks was just here telling me how much you enjoyed my picture last night. Oh, yes. Quite good. Quite good. Quite, yes. Yeah. I understand your wife thought I was very entertaining, too. Uh, yes. In a boring sort of a way. Oh, now, look here, Dick. You can't blame a man for what his wife thinks. Of course not. As a matter of fact, she thought you were pretty good in some scenes. Mm -hmm. But what does she know about acting? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> there you are. Certainly. Anybody can call a guy a sap. But it takes a real critic to recognize a ham. Oh. The uh, kid's uh, been... Been talking. talking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A terrible little liar, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course, that ham business had nothing to do with you, Dick. I, uh, I was very hungry, and we had ham for dinner, and I... Uh, and I well, reminded you of it. Exactly. Uh, no, no, I, I Well, mean that... just forget it, Daddy. I, I suppose you're looking for snooks. On the contrary, Dick, I'm trying to avoid it. Oh, going somewhere? Yes, sir. I have tickets for tonight's game. Football. Really? Oh, well, I thought you couldn't go. Why, I wouldn't miss this game for a million dollars. Look at these seats. They're right in the, uh... Uh... What did I do? What are you looking for? Tickets. I've lost them. <whistles> oh. And I'm taking an out-of-town buyer to the game, too. Isn't that too bad? Have you looked in all your pockets, Daddy? Yes, they're gone. I wonder if that kid... Oh. Where is she? I wouldn't know, Daddy. She went that way. I've got to find her quick. <laughs> She's liable to give those tickets away. Impossible. Seven years old and goes through my pockets already. <laughs> She gets more like a mother every day. Well, you go look for her, Daddy. If I see her, I'll hold her. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll hold her. I'll hide her. Nobody can call me a ham and get away with it. That was a nasty thing to do, Snooks. Why? Because you had no right to take those tickets out of my pocket and give them to Mr. Powell. He gave them back to you, didn't he? Yes, but not until I did a lot of crawling and apologizing for calling him a ham. The big ham. <laughs> huh? Nothing. I want you to learn to keep your mouth closed after this. The very idea. The very idea. Now you go home. I must hurry and get to that game. What you putting that bottle in your pocket for, Daddy? What? Oh, I, uh, I have to take it along. What's in it? It's, uh, it's cough medicine. Ooh, awful nasty stuff. Got to have it with me, though. Why? Because it gets quite chilly at the game and I have a bad cold. <laughs> See? <laughs> I think I'll take a little snort now. Mm. Ah, that's better. Good stuff, ain't it? Oh, no. It's horrible. <coughs> you better take another snort, Daddy. Oh, don't be silly. <coughs> Daddy? Well? Why does the label on the cough medicine say G-I? Don't snoop so much. That G-I-N stands for... Uh, stands for Gullet's Internal Nostrum. <laughs> Finest cough medicine on the market. You hear? I hear. The only reason I'm taking it is because I have to sit in the cheering section. <coughs> no one to get hoarse. From what? From cheering. And boy, I used to be dynamite back in college. You look pretty good now, Daddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Zing a ding a zing a ding a zing a ding a wow. Ragged a ragged a ragged a pow. Touchdown, touchdown. We want a touchdown. Ray! Tia Tuck. <laughs> you scared me. Oh, don't be silly. It's only my old college yell. Well, goodbye, my angel. I've got to run along. I'm going with you. Oh, now, Snooks, don't start that. I've only got two tickets, and I have to take somebody else. Is she pretty? It's not a she. It's a business associate. Goodbye. I'm going with you. Now, listen to me. This is one time I won't give in to you, and I don't care what happens. Call <laughs> your head off. If I take you to the game tonight, I, I hope my nose drops off. <laughs> Well, here's the stadium. Look at all the cards. Don't know how I'll ever get another ticket. What am I going to tell Mr. Greig? Who is he? I told you, he's a buyer. Buy me something, Dad. Now, stop it. <laughs> Where the dickens am I going to park this car? There's a space, Daddy. Right there. Oh, okay. 
Get out and see that I back in properly. All right. Now watch that car on the left. Why? Because I haven't got much room. Watch carefully and see if I hit it. All right, I'll watch. Come on back. Oh! It's all right, Daddy. You hit it. That's fine. Well, I'd better have a look at the damage. <coughs> I want to see the ball game. Oh, wait a minute. Holy smoke. Look at that rip in my fender. Awful, ain't it? You can say that again. All right. Awful, ain't it? Yes, it is. Now, listen to that. The game's already started. I'll bet Gripe's going crazy. Where is he, Daddy? I'm supposed to meet him at the ticket office. Come on, maybe I can get another ticket. What if he turned up one? Then one of us won't see the game. Poor Mr. Gripe. <laughs> Poor Mr. Gripe, nothing. You'll sit in the car and wait until we get out. I've got to get an order from him. <laughs> I'll save that yelling until I inquire. Look at this lineup. Get the ticket, Daddy. I have to wait until my turn comes. Just stand still. What's some little boys doing, Daddy? What little boys? Over by a fence. Oh, they're sneaking a look at the game. There's holes in the fence. They're not holes. They look like holes. Well, they are holes, but they're not holes. Huh? Whenever you see holes in wood, they're not holes. Well, what are they? Holes! They're holes, but they ain't holes. When holes are not holes, it doesn't mean they're not holes. It's the formation of wood that causes those holes to be not holes. Not not holes. Did you have so much of that cough medicine, Daddy? Oh, that reminds me. <coughs> oh. Oh, that's a little better. Wonder what happened to Gripe. Oh, there you are, Higgins. I've been looking all over. Oh, hello, oh, Mr. Gripe. I'm sorry I'm late. I brought my little girl with me. I'm trying to get an extra ticket. Oh, wait, I've got one. I thought you weren't coming, so I bought it ten minutes ago. Oh, that's swell. Let's go in. Come along, Snooks. I'm coming, Daddy. Say, look at that fella going with the ball. He's going to throw a pass. No, he's running. He's down. What happened, Daddy? That man just tried to run around his own end. <laughs> Is he double jointed? No, keep moving. We've got to find our seats. Uh, will it be all right for the kid to sit by herself? This seat's in another section. Well, I... I ain't going to sit by myself. I want to sit with Gripe. Oh, shit. <laughs> I guess it'll be all right if you sit on my lap. Now, well, here we are. And now, don't jump around, Snooks. I want to see some of this game. Oh, these are splendid seats, Higgins. Daddy! Yes? Who's all them people on the field? Why, they're the players. There's 11 men on each side. Watch. The blue team has the ball. The man calling the signals is the quarterback. Why? Because he is. Some of the men are quarterbacks, some are ends, and some are halves. They're all in pieces, ain't they? Yes. Oh, they're calling time out. Why? Well, I don't know. Maybe one of the players wants a drink. Maybe you want... Never mind. <laughs> They'll start again in a second. They're lining up now. Now watch it. There goes the ball. Look at him go through that hole. He's speaking down the field. 30, 40, 45. They'll never catch him. Make it, make it. Daddy. He's almost there. Yeah. Daddy. What do you want? Tell me a story. Oh. Are you crazy? There's a man trying to make a catch. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, what happened? Didn't you see? He fumbled, the other side recovered, and the halfback ran 70 yards. The Reds are now on the Blues' one-yard line. Why? Oh, because they made a beautiful recovery. Don't talk to me while the game's on. I missed the whole play. I want to go home. Oh, I wish I was dead. Well, it seems to me you haven't got very much control over that child, Higgins. Oh, you think you can handle it? I think so. Snooks, go sit on Mr. Gripe's lap for a while. All right. Oh, <laughs> he's got a nice fat lap. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just don't bounce too much, child. Your head bobs up and down, and I can't see the game. The ball's in play again. Can I wear your hat, Mr. Grice? Uh, no, wait a minute. Hey! Oh, look at his hat. Came off with his hat. Give me that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give Mr. Grice his toupee. I want to make a beard. <laughs> Ow, what happened? I think somebody made a touchdown. Oh, oh where'd the kid go? Here I am, Daddy. There she is on top of that railing. Snooks, come down here at once. Give me that! I'll catch my death of cold! Give some of the cough medicine, Daddy. 
Snooks, come down off that railing. You'll never get an order from me, Higgins. You wait till I tell your boss. I wig from that infernal brass. Snooks, are you going to come down? No, if I do, you'll spank me. Oh, why, Snooks? How can you think such a thing? I don't know. <laughs> ah, you don't believe I'd spank you just for that, do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, darling, I wouldn't dream of touching you. Are you sure? Why, Snooks, sweet. That is it, child. I wouldn't dream of... I got you! <laughs> if you said you wouldn't spank me! You call that a spanking? Wait till we get home. <laughs> Come on! 